So, this is it, the one that you've all been waiting for. A lot of you might have seen it on my community post, where you post pictures and that. This is the new beast. Um, as you can see from the picture, it's the nine inch Milwaukee cutoff saw. Um, it was 350 pound, I think, excluding that. And if you look down here, I've also got the 12 amp battery as well. That was 150 pound, excluding that. So all in all, excluding that is 500. Um, including, you're probably talking just over 700. And if you look here, I have already bought a blade. This was 40 pound, 45 pound from Screwfix. I don't think you get one in here, but I might be wrong. Um, what was that? The flap fell down. Um, but yeah, I don't think you get one in here. That's why I bought this one, but you never know. Um, so yeah, let me grab a knife and we'll whip it open and see what's what. Right, so I've got the knife. Shall I do the battery first? Let me just put this blade to the side. It's just a standard 239 inch blade, nothing special. Um, Mark Rice, is it? Not sure, but yeah, nothing special, it's just a blade. I'll put that to the side. You're not here for that. So, shall we open the battery first, I reckon? Um, like I say, I've researched a lot about this. It's not the cheapest, but it's something that comes in handy, I think. Um, you know, you don't have to plug any cables in, you know, set one tens up. Um, you know, your steel saws, you're not talking petrol, oil, it's just all pure battery. Now this is a 12 amp that I got, well, I bought with it, but separately. As I've been reading up, you know, 5 amps and 6 amps don't really do much. Oh, box in a box. Stick that to the side. They don't really do much, so you need a big, you need a big boy to power it. And I know these are quite a bit bigger than the normal batteries. Um, I'll, grab a, I'll grab a normal one in a second just to compare. <clears throat> Let's try and not cut my finger open. But like I say, I've wanted one for a long time. Wow, this is big. <laughs> Stick that down. As you can see, well, I'll come a bit closer to the camera. Boxes on boxes. Same old in packaging. There she is. Big, to say the least. You know, that's that's it on my hand. I don't know if you can see that from there. But, <clears throat> full battery as well, hey. Um, there's quite a bit of weight to it. You, I mean, you're talking probably over five kilograms, <clears throat> I reckon. Um, what was it saying on here? No, it doesn't say, but yeah. You know, it's a battery, it does what it does. We'll put that in here in a, in a second. We'll see, we'll just put that down there. Right, onto this, the one I've been waiting a long while for. Um, I've had it in my head for months and months to get one. But like I said, it's not cheap. Um, and I was weighing up whether I actually needed one or not. But the more and more I thought about it, the more I wanted one. I've seen videos on YouTube, other people using it, and I thought, you know, I do want it. So I'll, I'll, I'll spend a little bit of money and fork out for it. So. Yeah, we'll grab the knife again, open it up. <clears throat> the box feels reasonably light, if I do say so. <clears throat> um, I think I have to turn it upside down. <clears throat> Slide it out, is that the easiest thing to do? Let's 
just hope it doesn't fall apart. <laughs> Be good for the video. Oh, there it is. There's the box. Stick that, that to the side. We've got a blade guys, do not fear, that's good, I know these Milwaukee ones aren't cheap either, I'm going to put that knife, that's good, 60-70 quid there, easily, I reckon, should we open this up quickly, again it, it, it's a blade, it looks good though, That's going to do some damage. So yeah, spent 40 quid, 40, 50 quid for nothing really, but well, hey, at least we've got a spare one. Um, <clears throat> I'll put the blade in the saw when I've obviously opened it in a minute. Um, just put that down there for now. The time has come. Here we go. Let's move the table forward so you can see. A bit closer up. You don't want to see my ugly mush, you want to see this baby. Ooh la la. Ooh, boy. Oh wow. That is very light, indeed. Wow, wow, wow. Call instruction manual in there, I'll have a read of that in a sec. Um, three year extended warranty registration. Now I've tried to do this on a few bits with the kit before and it's never worked, so fingers crossed it works with this, but. Wow. That is very light. Very light indeed, you know. Hold it with one hand. What do you think guys? I'm very impressed with it so far. Obviously you've got the hose attachment. On, off. Suppression, that's good, we're working on site. Guessing the battery goes in here. Yep, I think. <clears throat> that's impressive. Nice little safety compartment. Slide the battery in. Should we grab the battery and see? Um, oh. I'd say the battery actually weighs pretty similar to the saw, which is quite surprising. So I guess when I put this in, it's going to make it a bit heavier. But as you can see, slots in lovely there. Just simple in and out. I guess you've got to keep that nice and clean in there. Shut that like that. Flip it back open. There's the one key. If ever you guys have used that before, very good bit of kit. Um, can I start the rope? I know there's not a blade in it, but I'll see. I'll put that on later, but you, you guys don't want to see that really. But... <laughs> Wow. Instant power, and rapid stop. Don't know if you guys can see that rapid stop there. Yeah. Instantly. Nimble for the two now. Put it down. I'm impressed. I'm very impressed. I just don't want to get it dirty. <laughs> so I'll just give you a little quick walk around.
So now you've seen it, I'll just read some of the little key features. The tool actually weighs 10 pounds, six ounces. You've got stuff like no, no gas, um, no emissions. Uh, the blade cuts to 85 mil. That's with a, a full blade. Um, so you've got to think when, you, when the blade does grind down, you're talking slightly less. And another little cool feature, if you just look on the top there, there's a little light. That is for basically when you're cutting, you're not pressing too hard. So when you do press too hard, that pops up red light. So it tells you to back off a bit. Let, let the saw do the work rather than you trying to force it in. I see a lot of people use the, not these saws in general, but any, any brick saw, any steel saw. They try and ram the saw in, they try and push it in. You know, into oblivion. You hold the saw, let the saw do the work, and it's a lot easier. Now I do actually have specifications here, right in front of me. So height-wise, it's 12 inches high. I'm guessing that's from you know the bottom to the highest point, I guess, which is this part here. Um, the length, 25.9 inches from back to front. The voltage is obviously M18, as many of you will, will already know. Um, again, the weight, like I've already said, 10.6. Um, and then the width is from like, you know, here to here, that's seven inches across. So all in all, it's quite a small saw, um, which, which I like. I don't like the big bulky ones. This is nice and nimble, cordless, no cables, no one tens, nothing. Obviously the only issue, you gotta keep this bad boy charged. Now, this takes, two hours to charge, so if I know I'm gonna be doing a lot of, you know, cutting bricks, etc., I'll make sure this is charged, ready for the day ahead. Um, and I think, if I read this properly, you can cut, imagine a four inch block laying flat, you can cut 100 cuts in blocks, if I remember right. Um, but don't quote me on that, I might be wrong. But I'm sure I'm sure that is correct. But yeah, like I say, there she is in all her glory. Obviously, including that, you're talking just over seven hundred pound, which I don't think is too bad. You know, you, for steel swords, you're talking a, a lot more than that, um, and you got the cost of petrol, oil, you know, general maintenance. This hasn't got really anything. It's just the battery, which you know isn't cheap, but. That should last a lifetime, hopefully, if you look after it, charge it right. And if you look after this right, it should last forever. But it's all about maintenance, looking after it. Don't let people use it, which are going to trash it, which I will not be doing. Again, I will probably do another video of actually using it when I build the workshop, which is just out there. I'm looking forward to that. Um, I won't bore you with putting the blade in there. A lot of you will know how to do that. Um, but yeah, I enjoy making these little types of videos. I'm not going to keep buying new kit and just for the sake of the videos, but I do, when I do buy kit, enjoy making these little ones for you. Just to show you what's what, um, give you a little insight, because I found these videos interesting when I was trying to find out what was, what the crack was with it. So yeah, now I do know that DeWalt, and Makita do a very similar version to this. Um, obviously, I've got the Milwaukee kit myself, so it was it was a normal thing to do was to go for the same as what you've already got. Now I don't know. I've seen comparisons. They all have ups and downs. You know, different battery compartments. You know, <clears throat> different water suppressions. Some of them don't have rapid stop. Just you know, the handle's different. It, they are all very similar. I'd like to be able to compare them, but you know, I don't have the other two. So this is my favorite, of course. But yeah, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Um, if you have any other ones that you think are very good. Like I say, I'll make another video of actually using it, but until now, that's the nine inch Milwaukee cut off saw. Um, I hope you enjoyed guys, please. Like, comment, and subscribe, um, and I'll see you in the next one.